Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is what I eat in a week, Monday to Sunday. I filmed every single meal for you guys. And I had so much fun filming this. I'm gonna make this a reoccurring thing on my channel every month. So if you want, please subscribe to this channel so that you can keep up to date with all of my posts. So the first day is Monday and I started out having a oatmeal bowl and I actually eat pretty late in the afternoon for my first meal. I also have coffee every single morning. I forgot to film it for Monday, but just know that I have coffee every single morning and then I have water all throughout the day. So this is the first meal. This is my oatmeal bowl. I love it so much. It is super tasty. I actually included this on my other vlog, but so yummy. And then I have this drink supplement. This is a caffeine-free drink supplement. It's called from the company called Gamersup. And this is the blowhole blast. It tastes so good. It's very yummy. So I like that to just to make my water less boring. Then I'm gonna have some decaf tea around 327. Um and just I want to have more tea because I have this really cute pink crusade uh, tea kettle so I definitely want to have more tea in my life so that's me being a, a boss ass beige <laughs> and then for dinner I had this delicious pasta with uh, like a cream sauce that I made from scratch some broccoli and some nice uh, grilled chicken that I grilled in the air fryer I actually filmed more in-depth cooking uh, throughout the week but Monday I just had this for dinner and it was just so good like I can't even explain to you how delicious it was if you want the recipe let me know I can maybe make it okay so Tuesday I had a coffee and this is my coffee concoction I do like the um, the milk and then the coffee creamer from Starbucks cinnamon dolce then I like using my Nespresso Stormio a coffee puck and cup of rainbows as you can see on the side it is definitely a rainbow until you mix it obviously but it was lovely I love my morning coffees I wake up I have my coffee that's just always my routine and then and then I started to have my first meal of the day at like two o'clock I had a little omelet, a two egg omelet with red peppers, mushrooms, spinach, and it was delicious. As you guys know, I am on a fitness journey and I also had some turkey bacon that I just microwaved for two minutes. I am on a fitness journey and I wanna be eating healthier because I want to feel better. And I've been feeling so great. I've been on this journey since November of last year and I just feel amazing. I feel so, so good, so much more energy. I drop the two eggs in it and then I mix it around the frying pan and then I just cover it with a lid and let it steam cook with all the heat and it literally turns out amazing every single time. I recommend you guys try out this recipe. You literally just follow the chefs I guess that I filmed on the video. But I had some cucumbers, uh, the turkey bacon, I also had a banana on the side just because I know. Having a banana a day is pretty good for you because it has the vitamin K, very high in potassium as well. So I just wanted to get all of my nutrients, all of my veggies, everything that I need to feel good. Oh my God, there's a piece of hair that I got out of the way. 5.33 though, I had the, these pieces of ham. These are uh, extra lean ham from Kirkland. And I just had them as a little snack with mustard before I started to cook dinner because I was feeling quite hungry at this time. So it was delicious. So this is some marinated chicken that I had marinating in this peri peri sauce that I got from Costco. So, so delicious. Cooked it in the air fryer with some green beans and some brown rice. And it was very, very delicious. Like this was probably one of my favorite meals of the week. Um, then I had some seven up. I love seven up, zero sugar. And then I had a little salad on the side that is just the sunflower salad crunch kit. And then Wednesday, coffee around the same time every day, honestly, 10, 27, or like 10-ish, I have my coffee. Um, and then at two o'clock, I had a V8. I think I worked out this day. That's why my hair is, like I just got out of the shower. So I'm just having a V8 before I prepare like my first meal of the day. I love V8s. My eyes are gonna roll back into my head every time I drink these V8s because they're just so good. I made like a little cucumber cherry tomato uh, salad. And then I'm gonna do an omelet, but this time I'm actually gonna cube up the ham and I'm gonna throw it in. And it honestly made such a difference. It was so good, so good. These are the nutrition facts for these for these hams, these hams from Kirkland. 
And I hope that this video helps some of you figure out what to eat. If you're stuck on what to make, what to eat, you're bored, you don't know what to make, you're lost when it comes to cooking, this video I hope will um, motivate you to basically cook whatever you want, cook whatever you like. As you can see, I basically eat, eat everything. I don't restrict myself whatsoever. Um, <clears throat> And I, although I'm on a fitness journey, I'm not weighing myself whatsoever because it's more about how I feel and the energy that I have. So I know I, I'm assuming the weight is just going to drop off of my body, but I'm not worried about weighing myself. I just want to feel good and feel fit and have a lot more stamina, as you guys know. So yes, girl, this omelet was good. Mm. And this vinegar salad with olive oil, I put vinegar, olive oil, salt, pepper. Delish. My, I'm like salivating right now watching this video. And I also used that um, Sigma Brain H3 podcast uh, stuff if you know who they are. I love them so much. So it was like dark outside. It was 5.30 and I was going to make dinner. But I'm like, you know what? I kind of want like a nice sweet drink. So I made a decaf coffee. And I put actually a lot of milk. I'm like, damn, Olivia, you put lots of fucking milk in this shit. But, um milk with some coffee creamer and then I sipped on that before I made dinner because I just needed like a little pick-me-up this was seafood night I made Atlantic salmon I only had one left so I had to make that and then I made shrimp if you're wondering I am cooking for two if you're wondering why the portions are so big I am cooking for two people um but yeah this is just the temperature that I set both of them at and I would flip I'm gonna flip the shrimp after a 10 minutes very delicious and I'm, sh I'm a chef you guys I cook every single meal like I'm so proud of myself I love to cook I'll be honest with you I love to cook okay so this is me trying to do something different with zucchinis um I put them through this cheese grater thing and they came out like really nice and thin but then when I I'll be honest with you when I was eating them after I'm like I don't know if this is it I don't know if I like them all soggy and soft I don't know zucchini is one of those things I think I asked one of you guys and some of once I think some some uh, person commented saying a certain recipe. Oh yeah, I, I forgot your name, but you told me to make them spiraled and make them like noodles. But I'll probably try that next. And this is me and my happy dance. My hair is just looking fierce. I washed my hair today, as you guys know. I'm putting lots of garlic powder too in it because I love my garlic. I'm an Italian, so I love garlic. Garlic is the best. Okay, so just flipping the shrimp, but they look yummy. The salmon is good. Um, I didn't know what to do with the freaking cauliflower. I wish I did something better. I just did salt, pepper, olive oil, kind of boring. And then I just made quinoa with it. And it was definitely a nice big plate. And I honestly started to get grossed out at the end of it because of, of the zucchini and the cauliflower just weren't giving. They really were plain. I tried to eat as much as I could of the veggies. But I'm like, hey, oh no, get out. <laughs> okay, so Thursday, I start eating my first meal around 2. And by the way, I wake up like at 9 or 10. So I, I tend to just naturally fast. I do this natural fast in the mornings. I don't feel like eating when I wake up. I like to like wait till the afternoon. Having lots of water throughout the day. That is my medieval times beer um, glass, if you're wondering. Um... And then around 5.45, I'm actually starting to make this delicious beef stir-fry, girl. Beef noodle stir-fry. So I chopped up the beef strips into little cubes. Gonna cook them with sesame oil, the Maggie seasoning, and the sesame from P.H. Chang's. And then this is me snacking on some pickles because I'm so fucking hungry at this point. And I love my pickles, girl. I could eat the whole, I could drink that jar. I could drink the vinegar of the jar. Oh my god and then compliments asian stir fry don't sleep on this this if you're in canada that is like the best it has the water chestnuts it has bean sprouts it has lemongrass thingies um broccoli like it's so good i love it so much and it's very inexpensive it's basically like the no-name brand um and then i threw in some mushrooms into the beef just to make it more you know hearty make it have more protein and throwing the vegetables they also have baby corns in it too Ooh, girl. I love them baby corns. They're so delicious. And then I also threw a handful of unsalted cashews just to jazz up the little dish. Threw in some rice noodles and voila, Miss Ma'am. It was so good. 
and I just can't believe like I'm actually so proud of myself watching this video because like wow like I actually do a lot like I cook a lot I I make sure everything is good like you know put some sriracha on that shit 7 up oh, so fucking good <laughs> So good. So Friday, I actually had a coffee. I woke up kind of early at 9.30, 3 I'm having my coffee, watching the Natalia Grace on Discovery Plus. Oh my gosh, if you haven't seen that, you need to see that series. It's insane. So many twists and turns. It's like a roller, co roller coaster. It's crazy. And then at 1.23, I was waiting for a package and I didn't want to work out before the package came. So I just had two V8s, so two of those mini cans into a glass. And I was kind of annoyed because I'm like waiting for this package. I know I have to be there to receive it. And I don't want to like work out with headphones and not be able to hear it. So I ended up just eating a mango because I was like, I needed, I needed a little boost. I was just waiting around. I needed a boost. Savagely ate that shit. And then after my workout, uh, almost three o'clock, I had a protein um, bar. This is the chewy chocolate chip. And this is me all sweaty after my workout having this. You know, just to get some protein in my life. I haven't been having protein shakes or protein bars, but I'm, try I'm trying to implement that more. Okay, so this is me with my new camera that I was been waiting for. So this is around six o'clock. I actually ordered takeout. I ordered from a faux restaurant in Toronto. I ordered shrimp rice rolls and a tofu vegetable faux. Now, I kind of regret getting this one because they use veggie broth instead of like nice chicken based broth and I just sometimes the chicken grosses me out that's a papaya salad with the beef it's called beef jerky papaya salad and my gosh it was mouth watering it was so good I'm gonna obviously show you guys but that's like the dishes and the tofus and this is me pouring the, the broth all over it tons of vegetables it's very this is a very nutrient dense meal that I'm having Although the sauce, the sauce was a little bit too much. I shouldn't have put all of it because it was kind of too soggy at the end of it, but it was delicious. It was tart. It was sweet. It was salty. I'm like, my mouth is watering. Papaya salad, you guys. Don't sleep on it. So good. Then I have some sriracha in my soup, eating some noodles and stuff, twisting them around. Yes, my yum. I was like making a mess everywhere that was going everywhere. And then the rice roll. I can never have pho without ordering rice rolls. The spring rice rolls, the fresh rolls. Delicious and nutritious. This one had mint in it. So Saturday, I was my photo shoot day. My first meal was at two o'clock. I was so hungry. After my photo shoot, I decided to stop off at this place called Grandma Loves You and they make sandwiches, European sandwiches. I love how they hollow out the bread and they just stuff it with all your ingredients. This one is the chef's special so i had grilled chicken avocado pesto olives red peppers everything that i love and hot peppers too and i believe like a hot sauce like everything that i love in one sandwich i was blown away and i could not stop dancing but then my chicken fell out but don't worry i ate it <laughs> Um, yeah, so this sandwich was so freaking good. It honestly lasted me throughout the entire day. I was like, okay, I think I'm done. But then around four o'clock, I was like, girl, I need something in my stomach. So at four, I had a V8. And this drink makes my eyes roll back in my head. It just reminds me of a Caesar. My favorite alcohol drink is a Caesar. And I don't want to be having alcohol every day. So obviously, I'm going to have a V8. And then I had some more of my gamer sup. And then at 10.38, this is me being brutally honest, I had a grilled dinner because I was like, I'm hungry and I'm going to have some nice melba toast and ham, you know, I'm not going to feel bad about it. I know it's late, but I don't give a shit, girl. If you're hungry, eat. Um, so Sunday, obviously starting it out with my first coffee of the day, my Hogwarts Harry Potter mug. Yes, she is a Gryffindor. <laughs> oh shit, my phone. Okay, and then this is me um, before my workout. I needed something and I was gonna have a V8 in this banana, but as I tried it, it was too sweet and too old. Like it was like not good at all. It was really grossing me out, so I didn't eat it. So I just had this V8. I love V8s. I'm sorry, this is like a, 
I'm not sponsored. This is like a perfect commercial for V8. Me drinking V8s all throughout this fucking week. So, um, after my workout, I had this bowl. This oatmeal bowl. My favorite oatmeal bowl with walnuts, berries, a bit of honey. This is my favorite. I just eat this. It's just so easy to make. So easy and squeezy to make. So tonight for dinner, I'm making fajitas. And fajita dinner is like one of my favorite dinners. I made four entire chicken breasts. Um, and these are the Weight Watchers tortillas. And I'm, this is new. I never tried the Mexican rice by Old El Paso. It is very, it tastes like, like so cheesy. So beware of that if you're curious. It's very good, but it's very cheesy. So... This is just me figuring out which seasoning to put. I then decided to just use this. This is the just regular taco seasoning and I'm gonna use the Goya adobo chicken seasoning or meat seasoning really. And then I also use some garlic powder. So I feel like I thought by filming this I was being stint I was being like over the top of the seasoning, but I don't I don't think I was at all. Like I feel like I could have put a little bit more adobo but I'm just dressing it with some avocado oil and just gonna stir that up very nice and stirred shove that into the air fryer I like this air fryer because it's double that has a double basket so you can cook one thing in one basket one thing in another if you have a lot just in two different ones girl girl my phone keeps freaking going off sorry so these are all the fixings I have the salsa I have the guacamole I have the onions I have the um, red pep, bell, the, not the red, the bell peppers, cheese, salad, um, and tortilla. And these are all my hot sauces. Yes, I am a hot sauce girl. <laughs> so the chicken is finished and it's ready to eat. And this was the last meal that I filmed for you guys. So this is, I had four of these and I jam packed the shit out of them. And I was just in heaven, absolutely in heaven. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you some inspiration on what you can make at home. Although I did do some, I, do, I did do two different takeout meals, having some Coke Zero as well. Um, but this is a video for you guys if you're wondering what I eat in a week and if you liked it, please subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.